And we have one NWSL match to preview during this international window, Lisa. It's New Jersey, New York, Gotham FC versus Kansas City NWSL. I'm so excited for this match. It's gonna. I want to believe it's going to be all eyes on this match, Lisa, because it is the only NWSL match that is going to be taking place during this and uh, this international window for the United States women's national team. We're going to see a ton of players make their departure. It's not just going to be the United States women's national team. And you and I were talking a little bit about this in our content planning, how this particular international window could essentially impact these two teams during this one singular NWSL match. Uh, let's maybe let's just jump right into our picks hopping off of that. Have you been going back and forth with these two teams just because they are going to be missing some some key figures? Tell me what you're thinking, who you're picking and why. Of course, I've been going back and forth. How could I not? Because uh, they are missing players in these windows. Carly Lloyd has said that she will not be playing for Gotham throughout this this window, even though um, the U.S. will be playing in Kansas City at Children's Mercy Park on Thursday. And then this match is taking place at Legends Field on Friday in Kansas City. But um, it, it's an international window. So it's already Carly Lloyd missing for Gotham. However, they still have Margaret Purse, who has just been on fire right now. Um, but it, Gotham, they are potentially missing Estelle Johnson. She got called up to the Cameroon national team. Um, Kaylin Sheridan, goalkeeper, and Evelyn Viennes, forward for Gotham, have also potentially been called up to Canada. We don't know exactly if and when those players will be missing, um, but uh, Mandy Freeman, we saw a taste of her last weekend for Gotham, and she is back. I think that is a huge bright spot for Gotham. Um, and we know how Kansas City can play at home on that Legends field and just knock other teams out. That's their that's Kansas yeah. City's mojo right now. It's who can they knock out of the playoffs? Um, and Gotham is a team that they could potentially do that to. When, when you look at this right now, Gotham is at number five in the standings, and they have 32 points. If they win this match against Kansas City, they jump three points, and they get 35. That ties them with Chicago Red Stars right now. Now, the head-to-head -head between Gotham and Chicago goes to Gotham. Two ties and one Gotham win. So Chicago will move to five, and Gotham moves to number four. Gotham needs this win. I think they have more on the table. I think Scott Parkinson understands that really well. Despite going to Kansas City and playing against a, a great KC team on Legends Field, I'm giving this win to Gotham. I'm right there with you, Lisa. I, I and I almost I'm sitting here and I almost hate to do it against this Kansas City side because we have been coming on these episodes week in and week out talking about this Kansas City team and how they are fully embracing that spoiler role down the stretch of this regular season that they are absolutely that type of team that are looking ahead to the future saying, "Listen, it's not so much about how we started, but it's definitely going to be a little bit more about how we finish and the momentum that we carry into 2022. And they're back in Kansas City, like you said, where they have picked up six consecutive results at home. That is an impressive six game streak to have at home for this team. But I just still with with both teams missing some key players, I think it's going to level some things out a little bit. But with Gotham having the return of these other key players, I think is what's going to be that X factor for them. Having somebody like a Margaret Purse who is just playing phenomenally for this team at the exact right time in which they need her to. And having the return of somebody like Mandy Freeman, somebody who can rotate into that back line in the event that, hey, there is an international window and there might not be players available who can slot in and knows how to keep things organized there on the defensive line as well. So I think there's just a bit more of the X factor for Gotham going into this one and for head coach Scott Parkinson and first assistant Bev Yanez, they have got this Gotham team playing a certain kind of way with a certain level of swagger. There is a certain belief that we're watching unfold on the pitch during these games when they're happening. And it is very special what we're watching take place between Ifioma Anamanu and Margaret Purse on that attacking line. And though Carly Lloyd's not going to be there, those two stars are going to be there, and I think they're going to be the X factor for this game as well. We're going to keep an eye on it. I think everyone else is going to keep an eye on it because, again, it's the one and only NWSL fixture for this week. But uh, who knows? Maybe I'll also put a scoreline on it, Lisa. I'm going to go with Gotham, just like you're going with Gotham. But you know what? I think it might be narrow. I think it might just like like a 1-0 or maybe like a 2-0 or even possibly a 2-1. We will see. Okay? Uh 
I like that you put score lines on it. I guess I have to, too. I think it'll be narrow. Well, I, I don't know. I think Kansas City is going to score just because they're on such a hot streak. So I'm going to go 2-1 to Gotham. All right. I think I think that that's fair. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I know we'll be paying uh, – we'll be clinking paying close attention to it. Let's let's kind of close this out with a, a special segment uh, presented uh, by our new sponsor. It's Raising the Bar, presented by Sonos Beam. It's focusing on a player or two who have elevated their game most recently, a player that we need to see big things from this weekend. And with this being the only NWSL fixture of this match, we wanted to take two players from each team who we feel have been doing big things for their teams. Uh, for Gotham FC, we are going with Margaret Purse, who has eight goals this season with two goals on three shots, most recently helping Gotham FC pick up a win against North Carolina Courage. And for Kansas City, who do we got, Lisa? Uh, I think we have to pick Darian Jenkins. She is just on fire for Kansas City right now. She leads the team in goals scored. She has three on the season, and her goals have been complete bangers uh, honestly that's exactly what they are and and she's really just risen to the occasion for kansas city and taking the opportunities that she's been given um when jenkins gets the ball her head is up and she looks to go to goal that's exactly what you want from a forward and she's taken this season in stride she was a quiet striker at the start for casey as kansas city was a quiet team at the start of this season and now as we near the playoffs, Kansas City being out of the, the playoff race and they will not have a postseason, I think this is when Darren Jenkins has said, okay, I have nothing to lose. And especially with a forward, if you have nothing to lose and you know that you can try out your, your craziest skills and you can try to perfect your shot in game moments, that's when players either rise or crumble. And Darren Jenkins, I think, has just risen for this Kansas City team. Um and, and scored a lot of goals, which scoring goals is really hard. Some players make it look really easy, like our other rising player, Margaret Purse, but Darian Jenkins, um, she's she's having fun with it. I'm I'm thinking she might be the one to get the goal for Kansas City this weekend. I, I'm gonna be watching and it's gonna be funny if, if this turns out another way because we're both going for Gotham FC and you know what happens when we sometimes pick the same team. It doesn't always go that way, but that's why we did things a little bit differently with our raising the bar, uh, with our raising the bar segment presented by Somos Beam. We wanted to pick two players uh, for this game in particular. So keep an eye on Margaret Purse and keep an eye on Darian Jenkins and see if they're going to be the player who does big things this weekend. 